One of the largest independent fund management companies here is Fundrock, formerly RBS Luxembourg, employing nearly 70 staff speaking 25 different languages. Like many Luxembourg businesses, this growing company is set to expand even more. Fundrock is about to purchase the fund partners firm in London and has just opened up offices in Dublin too. But Luxembourg here at the heart of Europe also remains at the heart of Fundrock strategy. That is to facilitate cross-border sales of financial products, to make it easier for families to save and invest for the future. There are many technology initiatives in Luxembourg run by both the promotional body and the private sector. How can we coordinate some of these into perhaps a slightly more focused strategy? As a leading financial centre, in fact, the second largest fund centre after the US, um, Luxembourg has attracted for many years, over the last 25, 30 years, many of the largest banks, investment managers, and with them came technologies. Many of those banks have you know, uh, looked to have smart source or offshore operational centers, and that is only achievable by investing in, in technology that allows you to do, run those global operating models. How can you help to connect the, the, two, the two sides, the financial players, the technology players? As a uh, Luxembourg domiciled independent fund management company, we are often the eyes and ears on the ground uh, and the, the glue that connects the full operating model for an investment manager that's further afield, whether it's in New York, London, uh, Zurich. We bring that operational connectivity on the ground in Luxembourg. And right from the very start, going back to 2004, we started building connectivity to the largest global custodians and central administrators. So we have pipes connecting into those uh, organizations that allows the data to feed in through our uh, data warehouse and ultimately after scrubbing and cleansing that data feeding into our risk and compliance engines so we can monitor uh, all the regulatory uh, fund prospectus requirements and internal limits uh, that managers might require or the boards require. I think what's evolving now is the uh, value add one can offer by in addition to that, with this data, data is core and, and central and, and the regulators are requiring more regulatory reporting, we are able to ease the burden on managers by taking away that burden of the regulatory data reporting. The FinTech has been around probably 20 years, it becomes more and more refined and gets more and more focused as, as the, these organizations become more interconnected through a shared ledger like the blockchain or Bitcoin cryptocurrencies. But RegTech is a relatively new uh, phenomenon and this is driven by post-financial crisis increasing regulation and that regulation has driven up costs and less you automate around that regulatory, those regulatory requirements. So we've invested in a tool, Governance I.O., and what we've done is we've automated around functions that were largely manual in the past, like on-site due diligence, on-site due diligence of the investment manager or the central administrator that we report up to the board. Now we can go in, um, uh, do our risk assessment electronically, the scoring electronically. So it's certainly created a lot of efficiency, uh, a lot ease for our clients to access the data more uh, online, and that's a continued focus area. And you've mentioned a fair number of technological initiatives there. Are there any other 
top picks in terms of innovations in Luxembourg? So I think there's been a, a strong evolution over the last couple of years in terms of electronic board packs. Uh, so it makes it more efficient for the uh, uh, board members now to receive the board packs electronically and to be able to annotate their notes and keep a record of those notes. Uh, with sanctions regimes, it's really important to demonstrate strong governance and ensure that the conduct is uh, well monitored and noted. What we see is uh, the governance tool that we've invested in. I it's more than just uh, a ability to uh, record and monitor, but it's an aggregation of data. It's the ability to access information anywhere in the world.